Hey, yo, welcome. I'm Ramsey Duncan, and this is another episode of Not My Kitchen. Today, we are back out on the lake at a different house. Uh, this house is also listed on Airbnb VRBO. I'll have all that linked down below, but I can't not wait to show you this beautiful piece of property. We're right on the water as well. So this is a waterfront property right on the Lake LBJ. The Colorado River's right there. Can't wait to show you what we're cooking today. Why don't we go take a look? Welcome guys, this is not my kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making a short rib ragu with a proper deli pasta. What you're gonna need for this recipe, salt and pepper, two cans of peeled whole San Marzano tomatoes, a Chianti Classic though, proper deli pasta, three to four pounds of short rib. So you're also gonna need a bundle of thyme, some tomato paste, diced carrots, about two to three medium diced carrots, depending on how much you like the carrot flavor, a whole onion diced, two to five, depending on how much garlic you like, uh, of diced garlic, pecorino romano cheese to top afterwards, and a little bit of olive oil. So now it's time to season up our short rib, okay? We're going to use some salt. So we're gonna flip these guys over. Pep all the sides. We have the Dutch oven that's been heating over medium to low heat-ish. Okay, we want it to be nice and hot to get that sear. So, you don't need a ton of olive oil here. Maybe a teaspoon, a tablespoon. Um, a lot of fat is on these short ribs and it's gonna render down and that's what we're gonna cook all of our veggies in. It's gonna be a lot of flavor. So maybe just enough so it doesn't stick. And the real important thing is, you definitely want to hear that. And you definitely don't want to overcrowd these guys. Putting on the mustard to navigate the first This is kind of what we're looking for. We're looking for a really good sear on all sides. So these guys are ready to flip. So this is about where you want them. This is the first batch. I've got the other batch going right now. That's kind of what you want them to look like. Um, once these are done, we'll, do, uh, we'll uh, cook up the vegetables uh, and then throw these back in with the sauce and the wine and then it's going into the oven for a few hours. So now that we've got the short ribs seared, this is the amount of fat that's in here. I'm not draining, that's too fucking hot, I'm not touching it. I'm leaving all this in, I'm cooking all the vegetables in this because it's going to capture all that flavor for this dish. The white onion adds a lot more flavor in my opinion, uh, if you like heavy onion flavor, which, which I do. Two to three medium sized diced carrots. I'm using probably two to five, I know that's wide range, garlic cloves. I'm going closer to five because I like the uh, taste of garlic. And while these are kind of cooking down, we have our peeled whole tomatoes in this bowl. I'm going to hand crush them. This is going to release a lot of that flavor and it's going to cook down even more in the pot. But in order to help that out, I'm just gonna squeeze that, get your hands dirty, get them in there. This is the way the Italian grandmothers like to do it too. Get in there and just really start squeezing. And we're gonna add in around three ounces of tomato paste. So now that we've got the tomato paste all incorporated with our veggies, we're going in with our wine. And we're gonna use about two cups or so of wine, which is perfect because if you just opened a bottle, you still have around two cups left. We're going in with our tomatoes. All of this time, push that in there. Now that this has been cooking for a little bit, got the temperature up there, we're gonna start adding the short ribs back in. It's going to feel a little crowded, but we wanna make sure that every short rib is under the sauce. Got my oven up to temperature. We're gonna set it at 300 degrees. Make sure you move your racks uh, so this can sit directly in the middle of the oven. So now we are just gonna let that sit in there for two hours. Don't touch it, just let it go. A Little bit about this place. Uh, it's in Kingsland, Texas, right on the Colorado River. Uh, this is a five bedroom, five bath house, full bunk room. Uh, infinity pool, game room, the works, everything you could possibly want. So now it's time to cook the pasta. We got our boiling water roaring, full boil. Now is the time that we want to salt, all right? And you're gonna think, oh my God, he's putting in so much salt. I'm not. Most of the salt's gonna stay within the water. 
but the amount that we need, we need it, we need a lot of salt, all right? We need it as salty as the sea. We're gonna go in with our pasta. It's all about timing. So it's been uncovered for about an hour or so now, so we're gonna take it out and take a look. You guys ready for this? That looks incredible. And I'll point this out in just a minute, but there's a little membrane on these guys that you cannot eat, it's not edible. So I'm gonna show you how to remove that. Make sure you don't have that in your dish. Bone just came right out. So now we are going to shred this up then put it back into the sauce. Kind of like to cut the membrane out, kind of helps quite a bit to just not have to shred that up. See this thing here? Shit. So this is rubber. This is elastic. This is the membrane that holds the bone to the meat. No good, can't eat that. So now our short ribs are completely shredded and diced up. Get the guy out. I'm just gonna add this back to the pot. Give it a good mix. It's already starting to thicken up a little bit now that it's stopped cooking. Just give it a shot, give it a taste. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now it's time for plating. We're gonna add a little bit of pecorino romano. That's it, look at that. Guys, take a look at this, this is unbelievable. This is probably my favorite meal. I don't wanna talk, I'm gonna eat it. I'm, I'm tired of talk, talking about it, I'm just gonna eat some. Mm, holy smokes, dude, this smell is unbelievable. So, it's just amazing. I wish you guys were here to try this, but I promise you, if you do it the way I did it, with your own little spin on it, do whatever you want. But if you have these basic ingredients and you, and you cook it slow, cook it throughout the day, these flavors are gonna just continue to emulsify and it's going to be one of the best meals you've ever had. You know, oh. <laughs>